Hi right, everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. Mobile police are investigating after a pedestrian was struck by a vehicle. Now here's a look at the scene. We're told that this happening around 10 last night on North Lafayette Street and St. Stephen's Road in front of the Club Elegance. Now we're told the victim did not suffer life-threatening injuries. We're also working on getting more information from police and of course we'll keep you updated on what we learn. The search for a missing swimmer coming to a tragic end. Crews on Dolphin Island recovering the body of 18 year old Rob Brent. Officials say that Brent was last seen swimming in the Gulf Sunday night. We're told that Dolphin Island police and fire rescue found his body as they patrolled along the shore yesterday afternoon. Mayor Jeff Collier says that it was about six miles west of the West End Beach. We certainly first and foremost want to extend our heartfelt sympathies to the family and friends of what I understand is a very talented young man. You know, this is something that, that affects our entire community. It's just an unfortunate situation all the way around. Mayor Collier says that Brent, who was from Yazoo County, Mississippi, had a very bright future ahead and was a great student at Southern Miss. The CDC says that new data is showing the United States is making promising progress towards preventing the spread of the coronavirus. Now, based on the current trajectory of the vaccine rollout, researchers say that the most positive findings predict that new COVID cases could fall from about 350,000 each week to under 50,000 by July. And they say that COVID related deaths could also soon be 200 a week instead of the current 4,000. But some government officials are saying that will all depend, of course, on if the pharmaceutical companies share the intellectual properties of their vaccines with other countries to help ensure that the COVID variants abroad don't threaten progress made here in the U.S. Until the world is fully vaccinated, the United States is not out of the pandemic. To help eliminate roadblocks, President Biden's administration is continuing to urge states to create more opportunities for walk-in vaccine clinics. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report and you are looking at our storm tracker just before 430 in the morning and you can see that we've got showers and storms that are located way out in the open waters of the Gulf, but nothing on shore because as promised that front that was sparking off all of the rain from yesterday did finally move south and it took the rain with it. So all of the rain that we ended up dealing with yesterday is now sitting offshore in the Gulf and that's where it's going to remain. We are going to end up rain free and not only that, our sky is going to be clear and our humidity considerably lower than what we were dealing with yesterday. As far as the bigger picture, you can see that across parts of the southeast, including the Gulf Coast, the sky is clearing out nicely. Not only have the showers moved to the south, the clouds have moved to the south as well. So you're still going to have a west to east movement of rain, but all of that is going to be well offshore, even farther south of New Orleans. So if you're going to be going out in the Gulf waters, that's where you'll have to travel to run into to rain today. Everyone on shore is going to be rain free. Weather headlines for your Thursday. The sunshine finally returns. That's going to be a welcome sight. Then as we head in toward the weekend, we stay dry. And as far as how things look next week, that's when we're going to see a return risk of showers and storms. Let's go through the Fox 10 future cast. Morning clouds will be with us but not for long. By the time we get to midday, we're completely sunny. We'll stay mostly clear through the evening hours tonight. Here's a glimpse at how things are going to shape up for the next seven days. Highs will be in the low 80s. Wall to wall sunshine through Saturday. Mornings will get back to the mid to upper 50s. Mother's Day Sunday dry, but the air gets very humid next week, and that's when we see rain and storm opportunities returning. The rain coverage will be in the 50 to 60 percent range for both Monday and Tuesday. We'll keep you updated on your forecast throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.